Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. On that first snow of 2022, okay, winter, okay. Really, really rough out there today. <laughs> but it was, saw a few little sprinkles on my roof out to my bathroom window, and I said, oh, well, how about that? Well, um, yeah, oh, okay. All the rooftops and the car hoods and things like that, we had, we had snow. All right. So I'm glad to see that you all weathered it in and fought the battle and got here this morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all righty. I tell you what, I got to say something about somebody today. You ask Karen a question. You put a question in front of Karen, buddy, and she will root it out. Okay? Just yesterday, we were discussing about something and back in the back and the Bible study, and she said, I got something to tell you about that yesterday, <laughs> this morning, you know, already. So, so she will find out. If she doesn't know, buddy, she'll find it out and tell you. <laughs> okay? You just have to come to Bible study. That's, all yeah, that's right, yeah. I'm the resident troublemaker, and if I don't do it, Mark does it. But uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful gathering we have on Saturdays back there. So uh, anyway, so I appreciate Karen for taking the time to st look, root out the questions that we come up with and things, and uh, and uh, nobody's afraid to say I don't know, you know, because I just I just open my mouth and out it comes and then uh, then somebody has to try to figure out what I'm saying so uh, <laughs> the thing of this where you're allowed to talk allowed to ask questions it, nothing's too too hard for anybody we don't care we'll mm -hmm. well so that's uh, uh, so that's that, that's one of the good things we have back there that goes on okay and I'm just going to make a quick uh, notice and you, I'm sure you all noticed the, the pile of uh, shoe boxes we have collected up here we have a total of 19, and that's the equal to last year. So that's very good. We didn't uh, go slack off on that from last year, so that's good. And uh, Ann and I will be delivering these uh, this week, okay, up to the uh, up to uh, Nauvoo, okay, as the collection point. So we'll be taking care of that. And uh, other announcements, uh, we've got, of course, the prayer Vigil Bible study Saturday at 11. Okay, and the prayer box is always up here at the front on the altar for any new prayer requests. Uh, tonight, here at the church, we have the Old Town Friendship Charge Conference. Okay, so it's our charge of Old Town Friendship meeting together, and Pete Schaefer is the one who's overseeing it. Okay, and this is the first year that they're doing it this way. And there's also some other changes, Pat has told me, from previous years where it really didn't, well, I'm going to say this, really didn't matter whether you were there or not, but that's not the way it is this year. There are some things that have to be voted on and, cho and selected or whatever, so there, there is a little bit, it's being run differently than in years past. So, uh, so if you can, please come out at 7 o'clock here tonight. Uh, and I'm really not sure where we'll be, whether it be up here or be back in the back. I'm not sure about that, but just come, find out, and we'll, we'll figure out where, it's, where we're going to be. Uh, and, of course, on Tuesday night, we're going to have our informational videos, okay, from Rob Renfro. Uh, if you would like to know anything more about what's happening in the United Methodist Church and why there's the discussion, why so many churches are splitting off and everything, uh, then we it's highly, I highly encourage you to come and view those with us. And we're going to do that at 7 o'clock here in the sanctuary. We'll watch the videos in here. But prior to that, trying to make it easier for anybody working, you know, at 5.45, we will have a dinner in the back. So come there, eat, be satisfied, and then we'll wander out here and get started at 7 o'clock. And uh, we won't take any more time than necessary, but... Uh, uh, we will try and answer any questions after they, we sh show these videos, but it's just uh, give you a much, much better idea of what's really happening within the United Methodist Church, okay? Um, that's all I have on announcements. Are there any others? Okay. 
then uh, birthday anniversary today. We hid it. Oh, the church is still there. No, none today. Okay. Huh? Next week. Next week. Okay, we'll get you next week. All righty. Well, then, how about we open our blue hymnal to hymn number 714, I Know Whom I Have Believed. <laughs> be seated. Good morning. Good morning. Got any good news this morning? It's cold. <laughs> What's that? It's cold. Yeah. Anybody else have good news? Yes, ma'am. I love it. Just what we see today. Okay. Thank the good Lord. Yes, ma'am. Right behind you. We have a new great-grandson Thursday. Oh. oh. Well, good, good. Huh? It's her grandson. Okay, all right, okay. And the name? Shepherd Ray, Day, Shepherd Day Allegra. Okay. He weighs 8 pounds and 3 ounces, and he's 22 inches tall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, all right. Anybody else have good news? We made it this morning, right? Amen? Amen. We made it. All right. I'm standing down here first because we need to have a prayer over our boxes, okay? Let us let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for these boxes that have been brought in. Lord, we just pray that they will be given to the people that need them the most. We thank you, Lord, for this ministry. We thank you, Lord, for these people that administer these things and ship these things and, and the people that have provided them. Uh, these little boxes can mean a lot. They mean a lot for missionary work, mean a lot for 
the uplifting of your kingdom, showing your love and your care that we have for somebody as a goppy love that we don't even know, but we can help them and care for them and love them, even long distance. Lord, be with these boxes as they travel. Be with those that handle them. Be with those that prepared them. And we'll give you praise and glory. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Any other good news this morning? Yes, ma'am. Yes, trust in the Lord. Yeah. Trust in the Lord. Yes. Yeah, trust in the Lord. Anybody else? I'm thankful Greg come to these short groups. Yes, yes, I was going to mention that. Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, on Pastor Greg, uh, he called me. I he called me. I called him and he didn't answer, and then he called me back. Okay, and uh, he came through his surgery fine. Uh, they had him up walking, uh, but then they do have a, he does have an issue with his blood count. Uh, they were doing that. I, I talked to him early yesterday afternoon, and uh, he, uh, they have a question with his blood count. Now, I don't know if they're going to give him blood if they, or not. Uh, if they are keeping him in the hospital, checking that out. He has a drain tube in, and there's different colors coming out of the drain tube, so... Uh, but he's in good spirits. He was sitting up watching the ball game yesterday, the high state game yesterday. And uh, so, I mean, he is in good spirits and all that, but they still have to find out what this issue is with the blood. So please continue to remember him in your prayers. Remember him and Carol in your prayers, please. And so, so that's a good news and a concern both, you know, so combined there. So, uh, so uh, need to continue to keep him in prayer. Continue to keep him in prayer, okay? My daughter had a procedure. Uh, we won't go into that detail, but uh, it was, it's good news in that she came through her procedure uh, and they fixed some things in there that they found that, uh, that she still has some pain where the incision was and so on. So please keep my daughter, Mindy Montgomery, uh, in your prayers, please, and so. So she's, uh, I think, going to call the doctor tomorrow and, and see, you know, what, uh, what they think may be going on or whatever, I think. So please keep my, my daughter, Mindy Montgomery, in your prayers, please. Okay, anybody else? Okay, concerns? Travel mercies for Thursday. Travel mercies for Thursday. Okay. And you're going to? London. London, Ohio? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear her name again, please? Ida. Ida. Uh -huh. And the last name? Cantor. Cantor. C A N T E R. K E T T E R. Cantor. Cantor. Okay. Even with the hearing aids, I still have a little bit of problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Oh, go back to Texas? Okay. Susan Foster's sick. She needs prayer. Pardon? Susan Foster. Susan Foster that usually does her camera. Yeah. She's sick. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyone else? Jan Supercrop and Bard. Jan and Bard Supercrop. Dan and Barb. Jan. 
Jan? Jan. She's been Jan Cooley. She's, she's not doing well. She's in the nursing home. She's very sick. Oh, she's in the nursing home? Yeah. Okay. What was the last name again? Okay. Okay. Anybody else? <coughs> Unspoken request? Judy Campbell. I was about Judy. She, oh, okay. She goes, she fell. She was out uh, making a few leaves around her little yard that she has, and she tripped over a root on a tree and fell. Turned her knee and twisted her ankle. Ooh. And she wasn't able to get up, so there's somebody down the street Help her get up, but she's not. She's home. She went to urgent care. There's no broken bones, but she's swollen and yeah, sprained. Remember Judy? Sprained, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Let's come before our Lord in prayer. Our God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you, our Father, for the love and the care that you give us. We thank you, Lord, that you got us through another night, another day. Lord, we have the privilege and the honor of coming into your house and worship you in spirit and in truth. Worshiping you in spirit and in truth. We just thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for all your love. We thank you, Lord, for the power that we have to pray. The power that we have to come to you with our prayers and supplications, the love that we have for each other, that we can mention these things, that they're heavy on our hearts, that we do care, we do love, and we do hurt. When one of our family hurts, or especially our church family, we all hurt. And Lord, we just know that you are the great physician. We know that you are the great comforter. And we know you are the great Savior, which we can put our trust. Lord, we thank you for this new loved one, this new grandson that has been brought into this world. Lord, we pray that you will bless him and keep him and keep him healthy. And, and Lord, help his parents, Lord, to raise him uh, knowing you as love and as care to help nurture him and care for him that he may grow and prosper in, in the Christian way. Lord, we just pray for all these that have been mentioned this morning. We especially uh, mention uh, Pastor Greg. He has been uh, pretty uh, much in our prayers. And we thank you for Carol that has been by his side all through these things. We just thank you and praise you for that and others that have too. Uh, Ida Ketter, we pray for her. We pray for this traveling to Texas this week, that she'll be safe and that you'll put your angels around her as she travels. Uh, be with Dan and Barb and uh, be with Susan as she recovers from her sickness and also be with Judy Campbell as she recovers from her sprained ankle and whatever else may be there, Lord. We just pray that you will make uh, it easy We'll make it comfortable, comfortable for her. Lord, we know those things hurt. We know they hurt quite a bit. But Lord, you, uh, you know through you, we can trust you and, and put our faith in you. Lord, again, we ask your blessings upon these shoe boxes that are being delivered <coughs> to children around the world. <coughs> for children around the world. And Lord, that we can express our love to one another. Lord, it's love that you give us, care that you give us, and that's how we send these boxes for love and care. Lord, lead us and guide us in this service today. Be with those in the hospitals and the nursing homes, those recovering from sickness. Lord, we just pray that you'll be with our military, be with those that serve us around the world, be with our responders, Lord, as they risk their lives, literally risk their lives to do what they're called upon to do. But Lord, we know that you're there by their side. And be with us as we spread your word, spread your love to the world that we meet and that we encounter. 
Lead us and guide us, Lord, is our prayer. Bless this service this morning, that it may be truly a worship service for you. We ask these things in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Thank you and praise you, our Father, for the, these gifts that have been brought into your storehouse. We ask your blessings upon them, that they may you be used for the uplifting and furtherance of your message and of your kingdom. God be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now, if you remain standing, let us uh, sing hymn number 701 out of Blue Hymnal, When We All Get to Heaven. Please be seated. 
I thought, well, wait a minute, he don't usually do the response to reading from down there. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I think he's probably getting ready to put it up here on the board. On the on the thing up here. Thanks be to God. Uh, I'm not going to be here next week. Lord willing, nothing happens. Uh, I'll be at First Christian, but I want to give you a Thanksgiving message. And so I'm going to be speaking about Thanksgiving today. Okay? We can do it more than one Sunday, can't we? Amen? Amen. We can do it more than one Sunday. Well, sure we can. All right. All right. Scripture lesson this morning is taken as Psalm 100. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. May God add his blessings on the reading of his holy and precious word. What are you thankful for? We could go around the room and, and ask that question, couldn't we? We could go around and ask what people are thankful for. We're thankful for probably food and housing and uh, an income, being able to come to church. Uh, there's many things that we can be thankful for, can't we? Many, many things that we can be thankful for. And so it, it is a good thing, but you know, we don't need to just be thankful one day a year, do we? Huh? We could be thankful every day. God calls us to be thankful every day for his blessings and his love and his care. I want to share with you some things this morning that we can be thankful for. And I'm sure that we are thankful for. But I want to share a little bit with you this morning some things about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is an American holiday and a biblical principle. A biblical principle. It's based on thanksgiving. On giving thanks. Giving thanks. Thanks for our country and our veterans, which we celebrated Veterans Day last Friday, didn't we? And we're thankful for the sacrifices and the things that they, things that they do for us. And, of course, others, which first responders and so on, that we're thankful for. The first Thanksgiving Day was celebrated on this land, which, which also became America, on December the 13th, 1621. Governor William Bradford declared a Thanksgiving Day, one of feasting and prayer. I know we, we like that feasting, don't we, huh? We like that feasting, don't we? And, and also, it's a time that we can pray together. The time that we can pray together and thank the Lord for our bountiful blessings, for our bountiful that we are about to receive. But we can also thank him for all the love and the care that he gives us. And I'll be touching on some of that this morning. Many changes were made on the date. You know, they can't keep things alone, right? Can't keep, can't keep well enough alone. <laughs> they have to keep bouncing around, bouncing around. But thanks... Thanksgiving and Congress, finally, finally it came down to Congress in 1941, way back when, 1941, that it would be, be declared on the fourth Thursday in November. In 1941 is when Congress established that. You might like a little history there. Huh? Might like a little history there. But let us pray that America's greatest days are yet to come. Amen? Amen? That our greatest days are yet to come. This is a great country. This is a great country that we live in, folks. Oh, every, everything, every family and, and countries and states and businesses and everything else have their ups and downs, don't they? Huh? 
It's ups and downs all the time, isn't it? Seems like nothing ever seems to stay the same. But God's love. Amen. God's love is, is so steady, isn't it? God's love doesn't change, folks. God's love is always steady. God's love is always there for us. And he cares very much for us. Thankful for those who have blessed our lives. Have you had people that's blessed your lives? Huh? Have you had people? I know I have. Parents. It shows us life. And shows us the way to do things. The way to love. And the way to care. And the way to, to be. To be good citizens. Also our children and our grandchildren. Somebody mentioned a while ago about about children and grandchildren, how much we enjoy them. I have one granddaughter, but I'll tell you, we enjoy her. We enjoy her. <clears throat> and I know others have <clears throat> several, and, and, uh, and we enjoy them, don't we? Amen? Amen? We enjoy them because we can show them things and do things with them and then turn them back to their parents. No. <laughs> That's the old joke. You know, we spoil them and turn them back to their parents, you know. But anyway, no, no, they're a joy in our life. They're a joy in our hearts and a joy in our life, and our children are too. Teachers. You ever had a teacher that you liked? Huh? A church teacher, Sunday school teacher, huh? That you liked, and also a school teacher that you liked. You know, you, you always have your favorites, don't you? Huh? You always have your favorites that taught a little bit better, or you, you like the way they taught, or, or the way they treated people, and so on. It just makes a difference, doesn't it? Huh? That we can treat them good and we can know that they are special in our hearts even today. Even today. Our pastors and leaders, uh, Pastor Greg, you know, we honor him very much. And we honor, of course, the district superintendent and all, and our lay leaders and our church leaders and so on, you know, that, that helps us along. You know, we can, we can appreciate them and be thankful for them that that they do a good job of what they do. And also special friends and relatives. You got a favorite uncle, favorite aunt, that you just love, huh? You know, that you, you've gone fishing with, or you've gone camping with, or gone on trips with, or you know, you, like, you enjoy them when they come for a visit. You know that they're gonna really have fun. They already have a good time when they come. And uh, you really appreciate them when you do. And all have, and they give you, and all these people that I mentioned today so far, these people that I've mentioned so far can also give you encouragement. Huh? We all get down, don't we? Huh? I do. We all get down. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that, or I don't know if I can deal with this, or whatever. And they sit you down and they say, oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. It's just a bump in the road, huh? It's just a bump in the road. You can deal with these things. And they will give you encouragement. They'll give you encouragement. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Just like the little engine that could, huh? I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I know I can, you know. And they can give you this encouragement as you go along. Folks, I'm not trying to make this boring. I'm not. I'm not. I want to just, you know point out things today that we can be thankful for and the Lord will help us with that too thank you for Christian homes many of us were raised in Christian homes amen, amen. many of us were raised in Christian homes where we come to church and we were in church activities we were in church uh, youth groups and things like that had fun in those things and and also uh, we were like I said raised in church had Bible studies and so on and things like that. And a lot of you are still, you know, in that, in that, aren't you? Where you have your Bible studies and so on. And we're glad that you're here this morning. <clears throat> but home is our primary institution. That's where they spend, they spend some of their time in school. But you know, they spend more time at the house, don't they? They spend more time with their brothers and sisters and their, and then their parents and so on. And that's where they learn a lot of things. They can learn to live with people and tolerate people and, and actually be with them. And, you know, that 16 hours a day or whatever it is that they are with their families. And also, and this is especially for the mothers, the fathers do it too, but especially for the mothers to sit and read, 
to their children. You talk, uh, a lot of times you hear people talk about the mother or grandmother would sit them down in the living room or sit them down and they would read the Bible to them. And that's where a lot of people learned about the Bible, learned about Jesus and learned about the benefits of God. And the, the mother or the grandmother would sit and read to them about things in the Bible and read to the Bible. And then that's also where children learn to pray. We have our little granddaughter a lot of times to, uh, to bless our meal. When we eat out, we usually eat out after church. And, and, and our meals, at our meals, we have her bless it. You know, and uh, she, uh, she has her little prayer that she has the prayer that she says. But, you know, but it gives her an opportunity. And I know uh, my daughter takes her to church and so on. You know, they're, they're involved in church. So that's, that's very good, very good. <clears throat> but also in Proverbs... And there's the one that you could probably all, we could probably all say it together if you wanted to. But anyway, it says, train it, Proverbs 22, 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. Let's also give thanks for the church. The church. Now, what am I talking about, the church? I'm talking about the church of Jesus Christ. The one that he promoted, the one that he started. He said, upon this rock, when he told Peter, he said, he said, upon this rock, I will build my church. His church, the church of Jesus Christ. The church, Jesus Christ that we know as love. The church that we know as gathering of us together. That is the basis for what we're doing today, folks. Jesus Christ's church is an extended, this is church is an extension of Jesus Christ's church. The one that he started, the one that he gave his life for, the one that Paul and Timothy and, and all these others wrote about and helped promote and all these different things, all the other people that helped to promote the church, the church. It's not what's above the door, it's what's in your heart, isn't it? Amen. The church is right here, folks. The church lives within us through Jesus Christ. He is the one, is the church, the head of the church. Our church, the church of Jesus Christ. The message of the church of conversion, turning lives around. They're heading in the wrong direction but when they get converted, they turn around, don't they? They turn around and head toward the light. He says, I am the light of the world. He, he is the light, and we can go toward that light, can't we? The light shines and in, in covers the darkness because it shows us the way, the truth, and the life that he has for each and every one of us. It challenges us to live a Christian life. It comforts us knowing that he is always with us even until the end of the age to comfort us and to influence us by our actions and our beliefs with the instruction book. Amen? Amen. With the instruction book. Thanks for the benefits of knowing Christ as Savior, our Lord and Savior. He is our number one. Amen? Amen. He is our number one. We don't need any gods before him, do we? We don't need anybody else. But we need God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and to be thankful for their guiding and their leading and their light for us to follow. He offers forgiveness. How is that he can offer forgiveness? Because he was a sacrifice. His precious blood was shed on the cross of Calvary for our sins, that washes away our sins, that makes us, though we were crimson, he makes us white as snow, doesn't he? He makes us white as snow. And he offers us an eternal home. He offers us an eternal home. I didn't tell Jamie this one, and that's fine. You guys always all know it anyway. In my Father's house are many mansions. I'll get to it here in just a second. 
Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare, to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am. You hear the message? I am the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He gives us, he has an eternal home waiting for us in glory, doesn't he? He has an eternal home waiting for us. He offers us power for daily living. You know the scripture, don't you? Philippians 4.13 I can do I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Folks, we are truly blessed people, aren't we? Amen. Amen. We're truly blessed. We're truly loved. We're truly cared for. Yes, we're going to have sprained ankles, and yes, we're going to have heart uh, diseases, and we're going to have different other body ailments, and we're going to have different other things that come our way and come across, we come across. But you know, there's, God is still on the throne. Amen? Amen? He's still on the throne. He's just a prayer away. He's always with us. He said, I'm not going to leave you nor forsake you. I'm always there. I'm always caring for you. I've always loved you. And I will continue to. Be thankful for that love. Be thankful for that care. Be thankful for his son that died on the cross. That lives. He lives. And cares for us and died for us on the cross of Calvary. But he lives and he cares. Let us give thanks in all ways. Always. Not just part of the time, not just one day a year, but for all year long, for all year long. Happy Thanksgiving to all. I can't say until all a good night. That's, that's later. <laughs> that's later. That comes later. But as it says in Psalm 100, it says, give thanks. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth. How long? To all generations. To all generations. The Lord is good. All the time. God is good. Amen. 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 Stand and sing our closing hymn, please. Number uh, 557, blessed be the tie that binds. The altar is open for prayer if you have a need this morning. 557.
We shall meet on that blissful shore. Amen. We shall meet on that shore. All hearts and minds are clear. Let's come before our Lord in closing prayer. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for your love, for your care, for your sacrifice, for your blessings that you have for us. You said that you will never leave us nor forsake us. You will always be with us until the end of the age. Lead us and guide us now is our prayer. We we'll pray these things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.